So we took up the uh, VNC access to our uh, Ubuntu VM. Uh, let's download first VirtualBox and uh, Windows Operating System ISO file. Let me skip this first. Skip this step. Yes, start browsing, please. And let's search for VirtualBox. Download. Uh, Windows, not Linux distribution. Ubuntu, yes, 20.04. Okay, we have downloaded the package here. Let's pull our terminal window and let's jump to download cd downloads yes, our package is here let's install it okay oh i can't zoom in here also there's no minimize button let's do tweaks some tweaks here appearances Extensions, window list, uh, window workspace indicator. No, I don't want workspace indicator. Uh, top bar, no, windows title. Yeah, minimize, maximize button, correct. That's what we want. Why it's not zooming in? Okay. Repackage, hyphen I, virtual box. Okay, we need to and through super user the package hyphen i virtual box and it will take some time in that time we'll download our windows 10 iso and we got some error let's do sudo apt update and we'll install missing packages first Okay, update done. Let me clear the window. sudo apt upgrade. Okay, and it's asking for fix broken install. Copy paste. Okay, we need to do sudo first again. Yes, please. And it will install all the broken packages or the missing packages for our virtual box. Okay, let's download the Windows 10 ISO from official Microsoft website. And let's scroll it down. Windows 10, confirm. Uh, I want English International, confirm. And 64 bit. So file download is in progress. Meanwhile, we'll again our install our remaining D package. iPhone I virtual box. And hopefully it will install our virtual box. Let's see the progress of download. Uh, we are getting pretty much good speed here. Let me check speed test. Run speed test. Yeah, we are getting 500 megabytes per second speed here. That's good. And we box your already user. Okay. on top speed what is the status of download yeah it's getting downloaded and virtual box is still installing okay and yeah we done the successful installation of virtual box let me minimize this window also we have downloaded the windows 10 iso so let's jump on our virtual box and we'll create a new here name it as a windtain and uh, we'll save it under this path only okay no problem i so far image where we downloaded it it's under the download yeah correct Intent download 
and let's keep an intended install okay we'll do automatic installation we'll set the username admin and yeah that's it and we'll say it um, memory 10 gigs and the cpu use two cpu or maybe three cpus and memory would be 50 gigs and that's it and our installation will be started so this installation will again take some time so let's wait So uh, we have installed uh, Windows on our virtual box. Let's try to take RDP uh, for this Windows uh, virtual machine. Before that, we need to turn on the remote desktop protocol, RDP protocol on this machine. Uh, for that, we have to go to settings. Uh, then under the settings, we need to go system and then scroll it down to remote desktop and enable remote desktop yeah please confirm uh, keep my pc awake yeah keep my pc awake. Uh, also we need to do the port forwarding here because we are on the nat network right now if you can see in the network uh, you can see the nat on the network so in advanced tab we'll do port forwarding uh, with our host machine uh, i'll add the rule name as rdp to host machine i have to check the ip clear my window ip config sorry i have config for linux and it's 10.160.0.4 so let's add hit here in dot 160.0.4 and uh, port number is 3389 and our guest machine ip let me check ip for this host let's open the cmd and here we'll do ip config and 10.20.2.15 so 10.0.2.15 and again the case port is 3389 and we'll hit ok and we'll save it and let's check if it is unable or not net stat and one okay net stat okay net stat and we can see our 3389 port is open or is it for that port only okay listening is enable i'm not sure if it is for for our uh, windows host rdp let 
before that also we need to check if port forwarding is enabled or not and 3389 is enabled so let's try to take rdp here and for rdp we'll be also again using the same ip because the host machine have this ip and we done the port forwarding already and yeah it's asking for the username we'll select different admin and then our password and hit enter don't ask me again yes for this computer please and hopefully and we got the rdp yeah see we have here rdp here and personalize yes all the settings are working correctly and let's check the task manager more info performance and we have pretty much cpu memory 10 gigs of ram and yep so in this whole series uh, we learn how to do nested virtualization even the google is not allowing with the trial pack and then we ins install the vnc server and uh, gnome core packages to get a desktop environment a desktop experience and then in last we uh, installed the virtual box and uh, under that virtual box we installed the windows operating system and took the rdp so thank you for watching this guys stay tuned with for the next upcoming videos do subscribe to channel thank you